Hello everyone, my name is Paul Storm. I work for an Autodesk Reese Center in Cape Town, South Africa. Today I'd like to discuss the setting of units within a file. I recently had a query from a client about just such a situation and luckily for me in a previous life I had programmed a Dynamo script to handle the situation. Just to explain it to you in detail when you are on a Revit file under manage you go to your project units you'll see that there are various disciplines for which you can set values so area for instance in this case this is an imperial file that could be a metric uh, imperial units of square feet similarly cubic feet for volume but there are different disciplines so while these are common we also have for electrical, here you can see the value of dollar, dollar per British temperature unit for instance, something that I recognize of course we are not imperial in South Africa, but we can definitely see that there are values given for, uh, for the different disciplines that make no sense to somebody from a metric and environment. And quite often we need to have these values available within the schedules and so on within metric units so and within the project so there's a nice way to conf um, transform your model into a different model with different units like a metric unit so what I used as a reference was a template if you say you want to create a new project then it will ask you which template you use now we have two English versions. The one is just English and the other one is English Imperial. In the English Imperial you will find that all of these templates are within the Imperial units and in the English one they, they are within the metric unit. Of course they don't be exactly what you are looking for but it's going to be close to what you need. Um, and you would just have to maybe change a few settings until they conform to the way that you work with your files. But they would then you save that as a file, as a reference file containing the units that you would like to apply to your project. I've done this and then I'm using an old Dynamo script which I'm going to open now and I'll try and explain that. It's not uh, too difficult to understand once you get the syntax right. So programmed this back in 2018 I had to just update the Python node <coughs> because of the new engine that it runs but the first item that you see here, it's a very simple little script there's a there's an input and as an input we are putting in a file path um, let's see if we can find that There's the file path and the import export. Right? And this allows somebody to click and browse to a file. Uh, here you can see the two there's the imperial units and there's the, uh, the metric units are not available yet, so let's quickly save them in there. File new project from our metric template and save as project in call that metric. Okay, so there's our metric our metric reference. There's our metric reference. We will open that file. And that now contains the file path. And then over here 
is whether or not we want it to run. And then within the Python script is where the magic happens. And we are leveraging the Revit API here, where we don't have a node for this. And so we use the following code. When you execute in, the, in a file, the execution is transactional because you're operating against a database. And then we are simply saying get the units from the reference file and then get the units from the current file and then replace the units of the current file with the reference files units and then set the units using the reference files units and end the transaction. Everything that you see in between here is just an extra code that I discovered that helps with setting specific things and it leverages the Revit API and the built-in parameters and the built-in enumeration for the units, which is much more complex. It's much easier to set up a reference file and then to just read and write from the reference file as opposed to setting each one of those. But you can go into that. Okay, so after you've done all of that, then you can run the Dynamo script. In our current drawing, we've got the Imperial units and we would like the metric units applied. There we've browsed to the metric file. We should actually rename that to be consistent. And run. Alright, so after we've run that file, we should find that the units have now been changed into metric units as it was set within the reference file. Okay, so the click of a button, you can transform a file from metric to imperial or from imperial to metric. I hope you find that useful. Until next time, enjoy Revit!